The area where there's been the greatest amount of change is in the drum kit. On the previous album, every single song was different, used totally different sounds, but here on this new EP, the same drum kit is used throughout, and percussion features much more heavily in the songs. In order to create the rhythms, I've gathered together 18 different samples, most of them are standard hits, and there's a few combos in there as well. Everything is arranged in this one single track over here. This is not normally the way you do things. Usually you'd have a separate track for bass drums, separate for snare, etc. But I was going for a more organic feel. And when you put everything into one single track like this, it allows the sounds to interact, mesh together, kind of like you would get if you were recording a proper drum kit with overhead microphones. And it's for the same reason that I've gathered together so many different drum samples. I have many different bass drums, snares, cymbals, etc. Uh, they all contribute and allow me to create a more natural sounding rhythm. This does of course make things a bit more complex and it requires a lot more effort to get things working properly. Not just with the amount of sounds that you're having to deal with, but as you can see here I'm adjusting on a per sample basis the volume. Uh, as well as the volume of the track, and I've got some re-triggers here, and a little bit of extra variance with uh, up and down pitches. I also sometimes pull apart the panning of each individual sound in order to have the maximum amount of impact. This is not something I would attempt to do unless I was using Renoise here. It just allows you to get down to this absolute minute level of detail so easily. The final point to make with uh, arranging your drums all in one track like this is an instrument setting, sample properties. You'll see here there's an option here called NNA. Uh, normally this is set to cut and as the name suggests what happens here is when your sample is played and another is played directly after it, it cuts off that original sample. It can make the rhythm sound very stilted and choppy which is not what we're after here. So for every drum sample if you set it to continue then things can play as normal. <laughs> 